Okay, take three. Um, my microphone was apparently turned off. I don't remember doing that, but it was. So here we go. Western Conference Finals, or uh, West, round two of the playoffs. Um, since I've already done this three times, and the first video was like 18 minutes, the second one was like 10. This one will probably be like five. Um, we have the Golden State Warriors facing the Portland Trailblazers. I have Golden State Warriors winning that in maximum five, minimum four. Um, they're just too good a team, too good at scoring. The, two, the offense is too moves. The ball moves too flowingly, too freely. Um, even without Steph Curry, I don't think Steph Curry should play this series. If if they were playing a tougher team, I'd say yeah, go ahead. Don't even play in this series. Let him sit out. Um, maybe put him in the last game just to kind of get his legs, get him, you know, shake off some rust from the injury. But I wouldn't even. I actually wouldn't even play him at all. Um, in the um. Rocket series after his little ankle twist in game one. Um, that's my personal opinion. I wouldn't have done that. Um, and uh, I I will say this, and I I heard us uh, I listen to first take all the time. Skip Bayless was uh, talking during the course of the season saying, "Oh, they're not that good at defense." I don't think it's that they're not good at defense. I also don't think they cared about defense. If they're going to expel a lot of energy. I think he's just like, let's expel more energy on the offensive end and we'll just, you know, we'll just, you know, we'll just try to not let them score as much as this. Then they don't expel as much energy and they can win more games. I think that's what their goal was this year. So, um, if you look at the roster, they're loaded with good defenders. Steph Curry is not like, you know, Russell Westbrook athleticism and just get up in your grill and run you to death, but he gets a lot of hands on balls. He gets a lot of steals. He has quick hands. Um, Clay Thompson can defend one through four. Barnes, one through five-ish. Um, Draymond Green can defend the one through five. And now if you, uh, Bogut is a good rim protector. He's a smart player. He blocks shots. He goes, he, he's, he goes, he attacks the ball on blocks. That's what I like about Andrew Bogut. He attacks the ball. I can go down the list. Vestas Zilli is not bad. Um, Andre Godal is Definitely not bad. He's an elite defender. Um, Sean Livingston, 6'8", and he plays point guards. So there's a lot of good defenders on this. I just don't think they cared about defense, of course, to you. So. so Golden State winning in five, maybe four. If they could win in three, they probably would try. Um, I need to fix that chair so it stops creaking. There we go. Okay, um, Spurs, Thunder. First off, Thunder disappointed in them how do you get beat by that that much game one God, they just they got pecker smacked is the best way of putting that they got walloped pecker smacked beat down bum rut whatever whatever euphemisms you want to use this is bad and i will say this russell westbrook needs to just take a hard look at the game of basketball so he needs to find someone to check him no one checks him he is an inmate running the asylum. And what I mean by that is he's a great player. The most athletic point guard I think the NBA has ever seen. And he just brings it and he has an intensity to when he plays. A very vicious intensity. And that is good. But he should never, never, ever, 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 never, ever shoot more than Kevin Durant. I don't know how the coaching his team is that hard. Maybe... They don't listen to the coach, and that's why they've been so bad. Well, they've been good enough to get the playoffs and stuff, but they just can't win the playoffs. And maybe the reason why they're so bad is because they don't listen. Offense is simple. When Kevin Durant is in the game, the first 14 to 16 seconds of that play clock go to Kevin Durant. Let him post up, run him off the screen so he can catch and shoot. Um, run on the screen so he can catch and then maybe attack. The last eight seconds, they go to Russell Westbrook. He can create a shot better than Kevin Durant, and he's also good at finding people open. Okay? When you get later in the shot clock, less people defend the hoop, and they defend the three-point line more. You can get your one-on-one, -on -one, you can attack the hoop, and get a dunk or layup or whatever, even get fouled. That's how the offense should run. Now, he plays great defense. I ain't taking that away from him. And he can pass pretty well. So those are the things he does, but he is not a more... Kevin Durant is the most efficient scorer one of the most efficient scorers the NBA has ever seen. It is stupid that he does not shoot the ball 
more than Kevin Dur or more than Russell Westbrook. And if any coach he has says encourages Russell Westbrook to shoot the ball more than him, they are stupid and they need fired. Maybe that's why Scott Brooks got fired. I don't know. But my personal opinion, Kevin Durant should never be outshot by anyone on the, on the on the team he's on. Unless he goes to Golden State, he's playing with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. It's the only reason. Because he needs to get the ball. And in that system, he would get the ball within the flow of the offense. And, and on the Thunder, he is the offense. Run him off screens. Let him post up. If they switch on things, run pick and rolls with him. They switch. Let him be the big man on a pick and roll. If they switch, throw it to him and let him back down a guard. He's six foot nine, six ten, with a seven foot three wingspan. He can do that. Why is that so hard? They never do that stuff. Sorry, Spurs, um, best team, top to bottom. Them and Golden State. Spurs are gonna win in five or six. Now I just saw the game. It's one and one right now. Um, in the interest of full disclosure, I just finished watching. Um, Game two, whatever. Oh, yeah, game two. And the Spurs should have won. They got kind of screwed, but I you know, we'll get into the referees. I'm here to predict how the how it'll play out. I think it'll be a five, six game series. Maybe seven, but I think I think Spurs will win six. Spurs are the best team top to bottom, and so and then uh, Golden State's second best team top to bottom. The Western Conference Finals will be the NBA championship to me. The Eastern Conference is obsolete. If Cleveland makes it and you got Cleveland Golden State again, that will be pretty intriguing. But regardless of that, I don't see it being. If it's Cleveland and the Spurs, the Spurs are going to beat the crap out of them. It's just the way they match up. They just don't. LeBron James just does not match up well against um, Popovich. Popovich just has his number and just knows how to play him. Um, Eastern Conference. I'll get into the Eastern Conference real quick. Um, Cleveland. Is going to beat Atlanta. I'd like to see Atlanta push it to six games, maybe seven. But I, if I had to put money on it, I think it'd be done in five. Atlanta is a good offensive team and a good team overall. They play pretty good defense together. I'm um, actually they they didn't do bad game one. The game was close. Um, they just didn't. They weren't as efficient as as um the Cleveland Cavaliers. And no one you, no one can sit here and tell me that Cleveland's a really good defensive team. It's just they don't have a superstar. Um, you have a team that can move the ball well. Everyone gets a touch and everyone gets a good look. If Russell Westbrook played for them, they'd be extremely good because he can get a lot of guys wide open. He can get Kyle Korver open all the time. And that's like a layup for Kyle Korver. Jeff Teague, Paul Millsap. Those are guys that go very well with a strong um, um, star or two, like an actual like superstar or two. If Russell Westbrook was on that team, for example, they'd be a little bit better because he can do pick and rolls with Millsap. Millsap would roll. He'd get Millsap a layup. He'd kick it to Kyle Korver for a three. That would be an exam a place where he should be. That's like I think he should go. Honestly, go should go to Boston. I think he'd do well with Boston. Um, but they already have a point guard, so yeah. Um, Cleveland, yeah, I think Cleveland will win that series. They'll win it in five. If I had to put money on it, I hope they, I, I'd like to see them push it to seven. Um, okay, now the other one is the one I'm really intrigued by because I like the Rocket, the Raptors, I'm sorry. The Raptors have a lot of good young players. My issue with the Raptors, though, is that they don't, how do I put this? They're just, they're just not good enough yet. They're one or two pieces away. They're one piece away. And, if I had if I had to speak from my heart real quick, I don't want the Cleveland Cavaliers to make the finals. I don't. I don't like Cleveland Cavaliers. I never have. I don't like LeBron James. Um, I just went off. Huh. That's weird. Um, I don't like LeBron. I never like Cleveland. Um, nothing personal. I just don't like someone who claims he's the greatest ever before he ever steps foot on a basketball court. Um, I think the Heat are the only chance, or the only team that has a chance of beating them. Okay, you have Wade, Drogic can play, Luol Dang, Joe Johnson, um, Son Whiteside can protect the hoop really well. And if they get Bosch back, that definitely gives them a good chance. That's what I want. I want, I think it'll be six or seven games. 
the Heat and the Raptors, or the yeah, the Heat and the Raptors. And I don't want to give my predictions beyond that, but I just predict the Heat and the Raptors will, will go six or seven games with the Heat winning. And I want to see the Heat face the Cleveland Cavaliers in, in the Eastern Conference Finals. That would I would love to see that. Okay, so that's my prediction for the NBA second round. Um, like and follow me on Twitter uh, at GeekNerdFanMan. All right, yeah, Geek Nerd Fan. Man, yeah, yeah. Geek Nerd Fan, man. Sorry. Geek Nerd Fan is this uh, channel. Just making sure. All right. See ya.